284 has divisors. 284 is 2 times 2 times 71, and its divisors are therefore 1 and 2, and uh, <clears throat> listing all the one factor divisors, we'd better list 71. Okay, so the one factor divisor has to be either 2 or 71, of course there's one. Uh, then two factor divisors, you can have 2 times 2 or 2 times 71. Then of course you have 2 times 2 times 71, but let's just go ahead and list the proper divisors. So let's see, this is 1, this is 2, 71, 4, 14, 142. What do we get if we add up all those numbers? Could this be a perfect number? Let's see, 3, 74, 78, 92, and 142. Looks like that adds up to 230. Yeah, 230 or 240. Let's add those again now. 142, that makes 156, 160, 231, and 3. It's 234. I did something really wrong when I added those up the first time. Okay, I think that what we get is 234. Let's add them up once more. Better verify me. That's 3, 74, 78, 92, yeah, 234. Okay. Now, that's not spectacular about that. We see the 284 is deficient. Of course, we already know how to find deficient numbers. Well, while we're at it, let's check out 234. We've got it sitting right there. We might as well see what its divisors might be. Let's see, 234. Let's see, if we divide it by 2, uh, you ought to do this yourself. Uh, but if you divide this by 2, I guess you get 117. And let's see, what divides 117? Uh, will 7 divide 117? No. Will 3 divide 117? Oh, darn, yeah, sure it will. Okay, so 3 goes into 117, and I guess that goes in 39 times. And then 3 goes into 39 13 times. So I believe you get 2 times 3 times 3 times 13. Now, if you list the factors, are the proper divisors. What do you get? You get 1, you get 2, you get 3, you get 13. Those are one factor divisors. Then you get 2 times 3, and you can put uh, 2 together with 13. Then you could, can put 3 with 3, and 3 with 13. How about three factor divisors? Well, yeah. You can put two together with a pair of threes, or you can put two together with a three and a thirteen, or you can put threes, two threes together with a thirteen. So that's kind of interesting. Now let's see. There are a lot of divisors. This thing's starting to look kind of abundant, isn't it? Now, if we multiply these out, let's see, what do we get? We get 1, 2, 3, 13, 2 times 13 is 6, or 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 13 is 26, 9, 39, let's see, that's uh, 18, and that's 6 times 13, which is 78, and this is... Uh, 117. Those are the numbers that we get for the divisors.
Well, you really ought to add them up for yourself and see what happens, but I'll tell you what happens. You get 284. Again, assuming that I've done these calculations correctly, so that, well, what's 284 got to do with anything? Well, that's a number we started with. So that the sum of divisors of 284 is 234, and the sum of the divisors of 234, this list of divisors, turns out to be 284. Now, we've got a name for that sort of thing. We say that 284 and 234 are amiable numbers. And it's interesting to try to find other pairs of amiable numbers.